My research is mainly focused on development of new varieties. Uh, most of it is on citrus. UCR as a whole traces its ancestry to citrus research, and citrus research has remained quite strong for a long time on, on the UCR campus. At the Center for Environmental Research and Technology, the research that we do here tries to be the honest broker between industry, government, and policy. And so we try to provide the science, uh, the actual facts that go into regulations so um, changes can be made in policy. We are developing uh, tools and technology to directly print or manufacture biosensor on like plant leaves. Uh, the idea is to fabricate a low-cost biosensor or one may call a detector on a leaf of clops so that when the clop is under attack by pathogens or under uh, some biostress, uh, farmers can quickly uh, detect and segregate affected plants and crops. Our sensor uh, is mainly targeting uh, the developing world such as uh, African countries by developing and enabling low-cost detection system directly on the leaf, we are hoping to provide a means for those small farmers to quickly identify whether their plants are in danger or not. For citrus, we develop new varieties by two major methods. One method is what we call traditional breeding by hybridization and selection. So we cross two trees and get some offspring and then try to select superior ones. And the other method is by mutation breeding where we try to induce mutations in an, an existing variety in order to find a, a form of it that has a, a more desirable trait. An example of this second type of breeding approach is Tango Mandarin, which we developed starting about 1995. Tango is a very unusual mandarin in that uh, it has a lot of desirable characteristics and most important and its really unique attribute is that tango doesn't produce uh, very many seeds in the fruit. For the sustainability of, of the citrus industry as a whole and all the other in ancillary industries that, that are dependent on citrus production, it's in very important for it to have production throughout the year in order to be economically sustainable in the, in the long term. The focus of my research is understanding how aerosol or particulate chemistry can affect water vapor condensation processes. We have the world's largest indoor air quality chamber, so it's temperature controlled, uh, pressure controlled, where we're able to simulate particle formation um, in the atmosphere. We also have very advanced technology to look at particle chemistry and particle physics. The next phase of our research is looking at black carbon, like a t-shirt or black t-shirt, it can absorb energy. But because it is a particle, it can also be incorporated into clouds. So again, we do are not sure about how the water interacts with black carbon. And so understanding its warming potential and its cooling potential at the same time is the next step for our research. The University of California Riverside is a great place to do research because we have a community that cares from our undergraduate students to our graduate students to our faculty all the way to our chancellor here. We all care about making a difference in where we live and where we work. UCR is a great place to do my research because we have a very strong engineering program, very strong uh, plant pathology, plant biology department, very motivated students. We have everything I need to make my project successful. To me, UCR is a great place to do research because of the great staff we have here. UCR has uh, staff from agricultural operations that maintain the trees for us. We have staff in the Genomics Institute that provide us with services to do genetic and genomic analysis. The team that I've been able to assemble in my lab to conduct all of this research is really what enables us to be successful.